everyone, today's video is something that I'm very excited to make. It's probably going to be a long one, so you might want to go grab some coffee or tea or I don't know. I don't know what people do. People always say that and it's kind of funny. Um, because I'm just like, girl, I'm just sitting here like on my couch like with my dogs like chilling out max, but whatever. Um, but I am going to go through all of my eyeshadow palettes. Now, I am going to have one new addition to this. It's actually on the way. I'm hopefully I'm going to get today or tomorrow. Um, but that is the brand new... Urban Decay Through the Looking Glass Alice in Wonderland palette, so we're going to add that. But this is all the eyeshadow palettes I have. It is a lot, but eyeshadow is my very favorite part of makeup. If I was told I could only do like one thing of makeup every day, it would be eyeshadow. I love it. I love to wear lots of colors. I love to do crazy things. Eyeshadow just makes me happy. So I have a lot of it, and I'm not ashamed of that. Um, if you are the kind of person, because I know some people are, I'm not judging, um, that like these big collection videos or whatever bother you. I don't really know why, but if you're like, oh, how dare you have that much? Oh, well, I have it. It makes me happy. You don't have to watch it. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and get into it. So I'm going to start with my drugstore palettes. Um, I really don't have that many to be honest, but let's just go. I have this Revlon Qua uh, Quint. So for me, palettes are quints and above. That's because, you know, you got to do a cutoff somewhere. So I'm not showing you like my quads my duos, my trios, any of that. This is just like quints and above. Um, so this is the Revlon Photo Ready in the shade 450 Muse. They do still make these. This was a favorite for a really long time. Um, now, I barely, really, very rarely like grab for it, but I do still like it. I think it's good um, quality. Some of these I've done full reviews on and I'll, I'll just have to go ahead and link my whole product review playlist because there's a bunch here. Um, this is the Maybelline The Brights palette. I have done a full review of this. Um, I don't think they make this anymore. It was in there like the nudes, the, the, you know, when they came out with all these palettes. I like it. I mean, let's be honest, like the pigmentation isn't the best. It's not as good as some of these higher quality like Kat Von D, Too Faced, things like that. But it's really workable. You can build it up. You can use it. It's got a lot of neat colors. And now you're going to see I have a lot of very colorful palettes because, again, I wear a lot of color on my eyes. But if you don't, why would you not want a really inexpensive palette like this and then you can... You have any, you know, most of the color options that you would want. And yeah, you're going to have to work with them a little bit. But if you very rarely work, use them, why not? So I, I, maybe they still have it, but I think they discontinued that. And that's kind of disappointing to me. Um, I also have a review of this. I think it was actually one of my very first product reviews. And it's the um, Wet n Wild Petal Pusher, Pusher uh, 8 Pan Palette. And this is the only Wet n Wild eyeshadow I have. And I know they get really, really good reviews on YouTube. I'm not super impressed with this palette. And no, it's not because I have higher-end palettes. Because obviously I like, I mean, I, I just like makeup. It doesn't really matter. Um, but I don't think the pigmentation is that great. And I have heard recently that a lot of people think that this palette is not up to par with, like, the Comfort Zone palette. Which I do really want to uh, get that soon. Um, so, but this is this palette. It's really purple. It's a really great palette, it, like, because purple looks really nice on a lot of people. I just don't think the quality of these eyeshadows is as good as I would have liked them to be. Alright. Last, we have this Pacifica. This is actually a quad, so I lied a little bit. Um, but it, it's, like, formatted differently, so it just goes in my palette drawer. Um, but this is the only quad. Um, and this, I love. I think these are really beautiful shadows. They're, it's a very neutral palette. They're super soft and creamy. I don't have an, uh... Uh, paper towels, not paper towel, washcloth, so I can't swatch for y'all, I'm sorry if that's really annoying, but these are super, super pigment, like, okay, like, they're just so soft and pretty, and they're all, like, a nice satin finish, I really like this palette, I have done a full review of it, um, but Pacifica has been putting out, like, duos and things in Ipsy bags, and they're not good. And it makes me mad, not mad, that's dramatic, but it upsets me for them as a brand because these, they have this palette and then there's another one and they're beautiful. I only have this one, but I've seen swatches of the other one. So if you are like turned off of Pacifica because of what they put on Ipsy, get like these four palettes. They're a little expensive for the drugstore, but they're really nice and they're a vegan brand. So that's really good. All right. Now... All right, we're going to go into BH Cosmetics. This is also like a drugstore brand, drugstore prices, um, but you have to order them online. So, I have this, which is the BH Cosmetics Eye Enhancing Palette. I got it in the shade Gorgeous Green Eyes. Obviously, well, not obviously, maybe you'll know. Um, I have very, very dark brown eyes, but I liked the shades in this palette the most. 
this is beautiful. I really, it's very similar to like a Clinique packaging and I think it's really nice. Um, I've only used this palette once, I think, maybe twice. Um, and when I did, it did kind of muddy together a little bit, which was disappointing, but I don't know. I think I, I think I need to play with this one a little more to tell you whether or not I recommend it or not. But these shades are really pretty and they're nice and pigmented as well. Then I have the BH Cosmetics That's Heart Palette. Um, as a lot of people say, this is not a bad, and I have done a full review of this as well, it'll be in that playlist. Um, <clears throat> it's not a bad palette, but it's not great. It's really cute. These cheek products are really nice. These eyeshadows, they're just kind of powdery and not super pigmented. They're just not great. I don't know. Like, I'm not the biggest fan. This pink and blue. Like these three colors, which is like something that makes it unique, they're crap. So it's really disappointing to me um, because I love Heart as like a person. Um, I watch her YouTube channel, or yeah, her videos. But this palette isn't great, um, but it's workable. And I mean, it does have nice neutral shades, but I wouldn't, even though they're, they're, like BH Cosmetics, this was probably like $12 or something, I wouldn't even waste my money and spend the $12 on it. All right, now we have the Galaxy Chic palette, this one. Um, I also have a full review of and this was one of those palettes that when I first started like watching YouTube a lot and getting a lot of makeup and starting my collection if that's what you want to call it um, I really really coveted this and I wanted this for probably over a year maybe close to two and I finally got it it came on Holt Look and it was on sale I mean it was already inexpensive I probably paid like 10 -ish, ish dollars I'm not sure the exact price um, I'm kind of disappointed, to be honest. I like it. Again, I have a full review of it, um, so you can check that out. I like it. I think it's a pretty palette. I think that the shades in here are really nice and pigmented. They're very workable. Um, they're great, and then if you wet them, it's just, like, fabulous. And they're all, like, satiny, um, so, you know, if that bothers you, you might want to pull in, uh, like, a mat or something. The only issue I have is there's a lot of redundancy. All of these blues that are beautiful look very similar on the eyes. These two purples, these two like um, berry shades, these browns, these grays. You have a lot of things that, although in the pan, because they are marbleized and really pretty, they look very different. When they go on the eyes, I feel like you don't get as much diversity as you want. However, this is a giant palette. Like, I remember... Usually, a lot of times I get palettes and I'm kind of like, oh, I thought it was going to be bigger if I ordered like online or something. This one is like gardening and chewing. Like, here's my hand. It's a normal sized hand. I don't know. Um, okay, here you go. Lorac Pro. A lot of people know the size of this. It's as tall, or slightly taller, and a lot bigger. So, I mean, it's, it's a big palette. Um, and, again, not a bad palette. It's just not as diverse as I thought it was going to be. And then, last but not least, is the Take Me to Brazil palette. Um, I know with that Maybelline the Brides palette, I was saying I think it's a really good palette to have for most people because you might not use a lot of color. If you are, if you fall into that set, if you're like, you know, color is not really something I do, I would like to have some. Get this palette. This palette, um, I think it was like twelve dollars or something. And they're they're not expensive. They're all under twenty. It was not expensive, and. It's got a rainbow of colors. And they are really pigmented and nice. A couple of them are a little bit powdery, but they're beautiful and pigmented. Um, there's no neutrals. They go, it's got a white, like a shimmery white and then a matte black. But there's really no neutrals in this palette. But it's beautiful. I mean, I think the quality of this is pretty nice. It's not quite as good like as like the Kat Von D palettes, um, like the Mi Vida Loco, which I'll show you in a minute. But it's, so I'm not saying it's like the best quality palette I've ever owned. But it's really nice, and I think especially if you don't use a lot of color and you just want to have color, you know, occasionally, it's got a good, then this is the way to go. It's got a good mix of matte and shimmers. There's a couple of dud shades. So like I said, they're not like knock you down with pigmentation. But they are nice. I don't know. I think it's a good palette to have, especially if, like I said, you're not huge into color. And I am huge into color and still... You know, I got it. So those are all of my like drug storage palettes. Um, and now I'm going to go into my more higher end palettes. I'm going to do it by how many I have in each brand. Just because that's the easiest. They're not, they're, they're not necessarily like stored this way. But that's just what I'm going to do. I hope that's okay. So let's go into the brands I only have one palette of. This is the Anastasia Maya Mia palette. 
Um, I think I've done a full review of this and a look. Um, so again, check that playlist if you want to see more information and full-on swatches and stuff. Uh, because I do like 20-minute reviews of a lot of these palettes, and I can't do that and show you like 50 palettes because that would be ridiculous. Um, but this palette is really neutral. It's got a couple of pops of color. It's really nice. I like it, um, and I really would like to try more Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. This Glisten shade is kind of gives me life, This and this Fresh Peach. These two are my two favorite in this um, little palette. You can't get this palette anymore, but you can get all the singles. Um, and sometimes she repeats shades in her palettes. So I don't think she's got any out right now, but I'm interested in trying more. This is really pretty. It's the Tar Tarin Tarantino Sparkelicity Gold Palette. It was limited edition. She spends a lot of time on her packaging, which is great. I mean, it's pretty in my collection. And then it's got these neutral shades, which are okay. They're not bad quality. I know I've done a full review of Serene Tarantino eyeshadows. They've got a lot of glitter, but it really just kind of falls out. They muddy together a little bit. It's not a terrible palette, but it's not one of my favorites by any means. Um, and I really, I think she's kind of done with makeup. I don't know. I think she's doing a lot more uh, jewelry now. But there's that palette in case you're interested. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't stress if you don't have that. This I got a couple of, like when it came out as limited edition and now it's back in the full line. It's the Tarte Rainforest After Dark palette. It's really good. Um, it's got these purple neutrals, which again, purple looks good on everybody's eyes. These brown neutrals. I love Park Avenue prints. I love the, the face products really sell this palette to me because the eyeshadows are nice. They're pigmented. They're very uh, easy to use. Um, but again, I'm a colorful person. Uh, but these face products are amazing. I do have a review of this palette as well. I think, you know, it's like $36 or something. It's really not that expensive. I recommend that. This is something very new to me. And it's the Buxom Pastel Persuasion Eyeshadow Palette. It is one of the... <gasps> Did y'all see that? Oh, no, Buxom. It's all okay. Nothing broke. I don't think. No, nothing broke. Did y'all see that? My drawer just like shot out. It was like, peace out, yo. We got a little bit of dog hair on it because, you know, my mom grows. Um, all right. But like I was saying, it's one of theirs that you can like add. What is going on? I'm sorry. Technical difficulties that you can add colors to. And, um, but this one was pre-made. So I got this because... I don't know, I had it, all right, it's secure now. I hadn't tried it, and when you get the pre-made ones, they do have all the colors on the back, which is really nice. Um, but here it is. It's a bunch of pastels. Some of these are kind of hard to show up, these, like, warmer tones, but I do like it. I've swatched it. I've used it twice. I just got it. Um, and so far, I'm still really enjoying it. This green is beautiful. It's called Room Service. If you are trying to make your own Buxom palette, um, I really recommend Room Service. So there's that. There, I'm going to show this. I know some people are very anti-Lime Prime, and I understand why. I know some, I've done some research about it myself, but I do have the Lime Prime Venus palette. I think it's a beautiful palette. Um, I'm not, I don't know. I just, I wasn't sure how I'd feel about it, but this shell shade I use all the time. Divine is beautiful. They're just gorgeous. They're really pigmented. They blend really nicely. It's a great palette. I'm sorry if you don't want to hear that because you're anti-Lime Prime, and I, I get that. But this is a great, great palette. I've done a full review of them, of it on my channel. Those are the mattes. And look at that. I mean, like, you know, I know people are, like, anti-spending, like, high-end makeup. Not anti. But they don't want to spend a lot of money on makeup. But look at the difference when you spend more money. So I got this on Hotluck, actually. So I didn't even spend full price. But it's beautiful. I really would like to get the Venus 2 palette. I'm not going to lie. This is a very new um, item to my collection. It does have a full review on YouTube um, in that playlist and it's the Minis Walden Color eyeshadow palette from the Sephora Mini Mouse collection that's currently out. I think you can still get this palette. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I got it the day it came out because I wanted it so bad. It's really unique. It's got a lot of different colors in it. It's got some neutrals so it's very easy to make a whole look with this palette but it's got a lot of colors and it's just, I don't know, I feel like they did really cute. The names are adorable. There's a couple of duds. But generally, they're overall really nice shadows. Um, I like them. And I recommend this palette. 
Then I have only one, the Balm palette. This is a beautiful palette. Everything I've ever tried from the Balm, I absolutely love, to be honest. It's, no, that's not true. The Staniac, I wasn't a fan of that. But everything else, I love. So this has 12 eyeshadows that are kind of neutral. They're really pretty, really easy to make a good look out of. You've got the Mary Luminizer, you've got the Frat Boy, and then you've got these two products, which I've had this for like almost two years now, I would say. And these are still like creamy um because they have this little thing that closes over them but they're beautiful i love this palette um i have i know a lot of people really like it this adagio shades break this silver oh my gosh metallica yes one of my favorite silvers and i i love a silver um it's a great palette so i recommend this and i really want to get some more of the balm palettes so that's that now I have two Stila palettes. One is seen on Holook a lot, and this is another one where I got it, and it was like, oh my goodness, it's very big. Um, so this is the Stila Tin Pan Eyeshadow Palette. I don't know. I don't know if you can get all these shades individually or not, but it comes with these 10 colors. Again, it's kind of a rainbow palette. You've got your warmer tones. This orange shade, what's it called? Copper? Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Like, how can you not? Um, it's really pretty. This yellow, because sometimes yellows are hard. It's nice. I mean, it is like, hey, guess what? I'm yellow. You see that? I mean, that says yellow. Um, which that shade's called 14K. Um, so this is really pretty. It's got a good mix, I think, um, of mattes and shimmers. I know this comes on whole look. I don't know if you can get it anywhere else, but I recommend it, because I think it's beautiful. And I also have this, which I, I've never, I just like randomly got it. For $10 at Sephora, like when I first started makeup, and I love it. It's the Stila Artful Eye Collector Edition palette, uh, volume 3. And it's got these five shades. Um, this shade, what is it called? Light Apricot. Oh my goodness. It's got a dent in it. I mean, it's so pretty. It's right there. It's so pretty. You can tell... I don't know. I have a lot of eyeshadow, so very few of my, like, I haven't hit pan on anything. Sometimes they have dents. Light apricot's got a significant dent in it. And these are all really shimmery, so some people don't like that, but I think this is, they're beautiful shades. Oops. And then I've got my, um, Makeup Forever shadows. This is the only way I've gotten the artist eyeshadows because they're such a better deal. Um, so this is the 9 pan palette. This is on sale right now for like $34, I think. Um, I recommend getting it. It's got, this is the volume 2, which is limited edition. They have volume 3 that just came out and volume 1, um, which is all neutrals. They're pretty much all shimmer, but they're really unique. They're so pigmented, like honestly. How can you, they're the same quality as the singles, but you can get nine for the same price as you can pay for like two singles look at that like look at that smack you in the face with pigment they're beautiful i love these shadows so again this one's on sale right now and then this one you can't get anymore but it was from christmas of 2015 and it's their 15 pan shadows um and they do have the names on the back so i would recommend looking at it before you buy them um because like the number three i'm still debating about because i really like it but i have a lot of those shades already um, in these two palettes. This one I think is great. I think there's not as much diversity, but it's so really pretty. Like there's a lot of light neutrals, but there's very few dark neutrals. Um, they're pretty much all satiny or shimmery, um, but it's beautiful. Like this shade, beautiful. This brown, like look at that. That's like the deep depth. Like I've just been digging in some dirt and here it is on me. Again, like how can you say no? How can you say no to these palettes? I don't know. They're such a good deal. I recommend, I want all of the palettes that they come out with like this because I love these shadows. And then I've got two of the Smashbox holiday palettes, one from 2014, one from 2015. These are the Masterclass palettes. This is number three. This is number four. Um, I've done a full review of number four just recently. Here's number three. Um, you can't get this anymore. It's got your neutral shades. This is the contour palette that they have now. you got some blushes and then you've got your colorful shades. These are really nice. They're pigmented. They're kind of hard to blend out. 
Um, and then you've got number four, which is kind of a similar thing. Um, very, like, it's the same formula, although I do think number four, the pigmentation overall is better. There's a couple of duds, which I talk about in that palette, um, C and Charmed, excuse me, in that uh, palette review. But you've got your, your highlights and your bronzers and your face products. I really like these palettes. I think they give you a ton of um, options. You have so many colors in here. And like I said, they're generally really pigmented. There's a little bit of overlap between the two years, but very little. They are chunky, though. I mean, this is like hard plastic, and it's pretty thick. So it's kind of hard to store, but I like them. All righty. We're getting to the end, guys. I'm sorry if you're like, Becky, stop. But I don't want to just like, Becky, this is what I have, and this is what I have. I want to like kind of give you a little bit of information about it. All right. This is the Urban Decay Vice 4 palette. It's one that just came out in 2015. This is still available on Urban Decay's website on sale. So if you're interested, this is a beautiful palette. You've got your greens, your purples, your kind of darker shades, and then your like oranges. Honestly, okay, I like a lot of these shades. I think they're all really good. I've done a full review. They don't have any light shades for highlighting, which is annoying. Um, but besides that, it's a beautiful palette. This shade plain, you can tell it's got a dent in it. A couple of these have a dent. Uh, Fastball has a little bit of a dent, but Flame really, and then Crowbar. But look at that. Girl, you want an orange, you want Flame. It's beautiful. That I reach for this palette all the time for that shade. And other shades. I like this whole palette, but Flame, mm, love it. So I recommend getting this palette. Again, you can get it on sale. I, <coughs> <coughs> I want to say it's like $39 right now on Urban Decay's website. Yeah, you want to get that. This is the Urban Decay Ammo Palette. It's just a little baby palette. Um, I really like the brush that comes in it, actually. It's this little really soft brush. It's really good for applying cream eyeshadows. Um, I kind of keep it in there usually. And then it's got these shades. Now, these are all really sparkly. So if you're the kind of person that only wants to buy palettes that you can get a full look out of and you like to have some matte, this is not for you. But it's got a lot of color. And I think it's really pretty. And I really... I'm glad I have this because it's got so many iconic Urban Decay shades. It's got Maui Wowie, Polyester Bride, Sim, Chopper, Last Call, Oil Slick, Mildew, Smog. So many shades that when you hear about Urban Decay, these are the shades you hear about. They're so nice. And I really like them. I think they're really nice and pigmented. I've done a full review on this palette. I got it for like $15, I want to say. Yeah. How, how can you say no? You can't. And this is the Urban Decay Smoked Palette. You'll notice I don't have any of the Naked Palettes. I just don't have any yet. Um, this is beautiful. It's got these gorgeous jewel tones that are super dark. These matte, it's got a lot of matte shades. It's got four out of the ten shades are match, matte. And again, you've got some really known, you got Mushroom, which people talk about all the time. Um, Bar Lust, Kinky, Blackout. I don't know. I just like you've got a lot of really nice shades. It is kind of like, this might sound dumb, but it's a smoky palette. Like, you're not going to get like, oh, I'm just going out to like um, brunch and then we're going shopping. Um, and so I just want like a nice neutral eye. Not this palette. No. Um, you've got all the darks. But if you're like, girl, I'm going clubbing. I got to get a smoky eye on. Got to get all those boys. Here you go. Here you go. That's what you want. So I really like this palette. Um, I'm going clubbing tonight and I don't obviously have to do that. I'm just saying, if that's what you do, here you go. All right, let me grab these last few palettes. So let's go to Lorac. Lorac's wonderful. I've got the Pro 1 and Pro 2. Um, I really, really like them. I'm sure you've seen them. Um, I don't use them as much as some people, but again, I'm a colorful eyeshadow person. I like this shade. I like these shades a lot. I think every time I use this, I get a really nice look. They do blend together slightly, so that's one thing I don't love. This snow, no, white, favorite brow bone highlight. Love it. Um, but it's just a really nice, pretty neutral palette. Do not drop them because, as I will show you in Lorac Pro 2, literally in the haul, I had used it once, maybe. The haul that I was, video that I was filming for this palette. I'll link my whole playlist down below and you can see it's ridiculous. I broke this shadow and now I'm sitting down 
if you know how tall an Alex 6 is, that's what you're sitting on. So what is that, like two and a half feet? And it broke. It shattered all over the place. So that was really disappointing. So I don't know about that shade. But I like this better. I think the formula is the exact same. So it really depends on that. This silver. Love. Some people don't like this navy. They say it's patchy. I think it's beautiful. Um, jade. Mm. This one just has a little bit more color. So if I'm going to reach for one. Look at this. I'm going out. I'm going to my friend's graduation party. And this is what I look like. But whatever. Um, but they're beautiful. They're gorgeous. They're everything you could want. And I also have the Lorac Mega Pro 2. I never got the Mega Pro 1. Um, but this was for Christmas 2014, 15. I like this better. I look at the Mega, and I don't have the Mega Pro 1. But it's so many, rip, rip, uh, there's a lot of repeats. And that's one of my problems with palettes in general. I did review this and I kind of said there is some repeats where they're different shades. And when you swatch them, you're like, oh my gosh, they're so different. But when you put them on your eyes, they kind of serve the same purpose, if you know what I'm saying. Um, like a lot of these lighter shades, but they're beautiful. There's a lot of diversity. Um, I love these, these, this row, I love. This olivine's great. I don't know, I just love it. Um, so you can tell some of them have slight dips in it. I like this palette a lot. And that's all the Lorac shadows I have. I don't have the unzipped or the unzipped gold. I would like those. I would like anything. Honestly, like, there are some palettes that, like, I really want right now. Um, but if there's an eyeshadow palette that I don't have, whether it is from, like, LA Colors or whether it is from Tom Ford, I want it all. Y'all know I say that all the time, which I know is crazy, but I love makeup. It makes me happy. I sit here and I look through it and it makes me happy. And I, th I don't think that's a bad thing. So, I've got three Kat Von D palettes. Kat Von D, okay, if I had to tell you my favorite brands for eyeshadow. Kat Von D, Too Faced, The Balm, Urban Decay. I don't know, I like a lot, but I love Kat Von D. When she comes out with a palette, I want to own it. Um, so I just got this. This is my newest palette in my entire collection. Um, and it's the Kat Von D Interstellar palette. It's all cool tone. I've only used it once because I've had it for like two weeks-ish. Um, but I love cool tones. Silver, I love it. Some people are like anti-silver eyeshadow. Why? Like, oh, so pretty. Like, let's, let's find a place to swatch you. Do you see? Oh, no. Why am I so awkward? Look at that. Beautiful. All right, look, we're going to show y'all here. Um, this light purple. Well, that didn't swatch well. Oh, it's beautiful. It's just like almost my skin tone. So, this is a gorgeous palette. Um, you can get this and the eyeliner and um, two, a liquid lipstick and a normal lipstick. You can get it all in like a little bundle. I just got that. I love the lipstick. Ooh. What's it called? What's it called? Armageddon? No, that's what the liquid lipstick is called. Wonder Child. Mm. Okay, I'm sorry. This is an eyeshadow video. Let me just show you this Dive Kiss lipstick for like 3.7 seconds. On your lips, like, what else do you need in life? Yeah, get that bundle. I highly recommend it. Um, but anyway, the palette is beautiful too. Then, I have this guy. This is in my monthly makeup bag right now. Oh, I have makeup everywhere. Anyway, my monthly makeup bag right now. And this is honestly one of my all-time favorite palettes, period, end of sentence. Um, it's Kat Von D Esperanza palette. I got it randomly because it was on sale at my Sephora and I was like, whatever. And I remember getting it home and being like, what the heck? Why did I buy this? I can't do anything with it. And I love it. Every look I've ever made with this, I love. This Selena shade, do you see that dip? It's significant. I'm not Selena, that's, yeah. And then I've got Santeria on today. Um, the South, I just love it. I love this palette. One of my all-time favorite palettes. It goes on, people have it on blog sales a lot, I guess because they don't know what to do with it. I can tell you 75 things to do with it. Okay? Get it. If you can find it and get it, you won't be sorry. Unless you don't use colorful eyeshadow, obviously. Um, the Kat Von D Me Vita Loca palette. Again, Christmas 2015. This beautiful record style palette. All the colors of the rainbow and your neutrals. I think she did an excellent job with this palette. Like, if you're not a crazy person, exhibit A, and you're like, you know, I just want an eyeshadow palette where I can really experiment with and have fun, and I just want to have that, and I'm good. This could be it. 
It could be. Now, or you could have 75 eyeshadow palettes like me. Um, can you not stare on my eyeshadow palettes, please, Hippo? Um, but, you know, I mean, whatever, whatever makes you happy. This scent shade is my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. Like, how can you not? Um, they're beautiful. I love them all. I love this palette. Every time I use it, again, makes me happy. I love Kat Von D shadows. I know some people are anti them. I don't have any of the older palettes, so I think she's reformulated and made it a lot better. Ooh, I love this. I know you can't get this anymore, but I'm sorry if you missed out. And last, we'll go to Too Faced. I've got four Too Faced palettes. I've got this, which is from Christmas 2013, I want to say. It's the Joy to the Girls palette. And it's really interesting. I got it on Cold Look. I really like it, although there are some shades where I'm just kind of like, what? Like this Joy shade, which I thought was going to be my favorite, you got to work with a lot. But it's mainly neutrals. So I don't, I mean, like you can tell, I like it. I use it at any shade. This Cheers, ugh. This Cheers shade is so pretty. I love that. I love Tutu. I love Twinkle. I love Prancer. Some of these are in like newer palettes as well. They, they kind of grab from, you know, and the names are adorable. Too Faced is the best with names in my opinion. Um, but it's just a lot of neutral shades. So I like it. I reach for it, but I don't love it. It's not one of my favorites. Then I've got three of the nine palettes. I've got the Smoky Palette, uh, Smoky Eye Palette, which I don't think they're making anymore. I don't know. It's on sale. Um, I got it on sale. It's another one like the Urban Decay Smoked. If you, you, you're you gonna have a really deep dark eye when you use this palette. There's a lot of dark shades. I do think that there's enough difference where they don't look the same. I mean, they kind of serve the same purpose, but they don't look very similar on the eyes. This silver is a very, it's called um, In a Flash. It's a very blue tone silver. I love it. I just love that. Um, I love a lot of these shades. They have really cute names again, and they're just really pretty. And you do have a nice matte white, or no, that's the satiny for your inner corner, because I'm all about the bright inner corner highlight. I like this palette, even though, like I said, it's dark. We have the Too Faced Matte Eye Palette. I've done a full review of this. I like this palette. It is all matte, obviously, um, and they do blend really nicely. They're really pretty. They get muddy together a little bit, and um, it's not for me, because it is kind of neutral, but... So it's not a shade, a palette that I necessarily am just going to use this because I like shimmer, but they have such unique shades. This Vintage Violet, Pebble, I love, London Fog, so those three, they're just so unique. Oh, London Fog is on, is on a bad arm. Maybe you can, that's the Vintage Violet, but you can tell, I mean, they're pigmented, they're beautiful, and they're really unique. I love this Velveteen Bunny as a brow bone highlight. This tufted suede is great to blend. It's a beautiful palette. It's beautiful. And I've done a full review of it. I think it's a great staple for a lot of people. But like I said, for me, I grab other palettes. And then another one. Okay. Probably my two favorite palettes of all time. These two. This is the Too Faced Sugar Pop palette. It was from their summer collection last year, but it is still available on Sephora's website. If you don't own this yet, I think you should. Honestly. I love, 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 times a million bazillion gajillion, this palette. We've got color. We've got some neutrals. You're going to put this on your eyeballs and you're going to say, oh my goodness, Becky, thank you for telling me about this palette. Blue raspberry, yes. Sugared violet, yes. Bubble gum, yes. Uh, oh, so pretty. So easy to use. Oh, almost all of these shades have little dents in them. I love it. Now these three, uh, the larger shades, they're really pretty. They do have glitter in them, but on the eyes they look matte. Um, I love this palette. I love this palette. It's another one, every time I use it, I love the way it looks. It's super cute. It's got macaroons on it. How can you say no? So, there's my palettes. Um, there's a lot. I'm not sorry. Uh, not even a little bit. I love palettes. I love makeup. It makes me happy. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry that the lighting's weird. It's kind of late. Um, I've had finals this week, so it's been crazy. I didn't sleep for three days. Um, last night I went up at 4.45 in the morning, so I didn't wake up until 
3 o'clock in the afternoon. Mm, not ashamed of that. Kind of ashamed of that, but that's what I did today. Um, but anyway, uh, so I'm sorry if the lighting's weird, but I hope you enjoyed this video. If there's anything that I haven't done a review on and you would like to see, let me know that. Or if there's any palette that you're like, girl, stop right now and go buy it, tell me. Because I have a problem and I'm not ashamed of it. Again, I've got the um, Alice in Wonderland in route. Um, it's shipped from Sephora. It's coming to me soon. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy this. Hope this does a lot for you and I'll see you all real soon. Bye.